What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last video, we took on then 18th Boise State in just a crazy game, a real close one, a lot of fun. And we was able to get our first big win of the season. Hopefully, that'll be a, a sign of things to come. And today, we're taking on Louisiana Tech. They got more talent than we do, but they're just not having a good season. According to their stats, they're not doing a whole lot on either side of the ball. They do run a 3-4 defense. I think they run a spread offense. It's been a long time since i played this team. But it should be a lot of fun. It's been a while since i played in their stadium as well, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, let's go to recruiting. You think after our big win, we would get some boosts in recruiting, and it looks like we're going to. We're down still to our five guys, two middle linebackers, strong safety, a corner, and a halfback. We'll start at the very top. We're still a top spot for this guy right here. Looks like we're in really good shape. It's just a matter of time before he is ready to start taking visits. Ben Jasmine, other middle linebacker, we're in really good shape for him. Looks like we moved up to the top spot. So it looks like 20 points is a good number to stay where we're at. Jeff Anderson, strong safety. We're at the top spot for him. We'd love to have him in the fold, and it looks like we're in good shape there. We just need to find out what he likes. Corner, Nick Slaughter. We do know we got a negative pitch for him, but we're at the top of the list for him, which is great. He's the type of corner we need that I prefer, you know, a tall, fast corner. And then last, last but not least is Nick Larson, halfback, local kid. We're moving up. We may end up finishing in the top three. If we can just get to the top three, then we have a chance. The problem is we got a naked pitch. So we may be on an uphill battle the entire way to get this kid. He fits what we want. He can catch the ball a little bit. He's got some speed. He would, you know, he would probably start for us day one if we could get him to commit. We'll see what happens there. Let's go to Sports Illustrated, look at some things. Top 25, this still isn't going to affect us. We can, oh, let's see. That's what I want to see right there. Let's see, Boise State went out. I don't know where we're at in the polls. We will look at that once we get to the uh, simulation screen or where it starts booting up the game itself. Let's go to Heisman Watch. Dickerson's not going to be on here because he got in trouble, and we suspended him for three games. So losing three games like that, that's just too much for him to come back and try to make some of it because I thought he may have had a chance to get on this list unless he just goes absolutely nuts the last six games of the season. Uh, players of the week, I don't really care. Conference standings, we could check this out. Check out our team info screen. We're at the top of the conference, but we've only played two games in the conference, so it doesn't matter how much yet. We do have our, I think he was our number two defense tackles out for almost the rest of the season. And our quarterback, starting quarterback, is out for a week, but our backup in Grog has played very well so far. Our halfback, I'm not going to say his name, but he had just an amazing game against Boise State. Hopefully that'll be a trend. Of course, Dickerson's going to lead in receptions for a while. Uh, tackles, uh, let's see. Mo, we got a new leading tackler. Sacks, Jones is having a great season. And Peters on the interceptions. That's our free safety. Let's check out Louisiana Tech. They're 1-0 in the conference. Looks like they got a couple players out as well. A halfback and a middle linebacker. Looks like their halfback is their starter. I don't know where they're Impact players live. We'll look at that here a little bit. They barely beat New Mexico State. The rest of this doesn't say a whole lot to me. We'll just check out the roster once we get into the game. There's really nothing else we need to see. I've, I'm happy with our playbook, all that good stuff. So I think we're, we are ready to take on the Bulldogs. Hopefully nobody gets in trouble. I, I, we're getting to the point where we don't need any more guys getting in trouble. Especially guys who are very important to us. Everybody who's been getting in trouble is a starter or an impact player or something. But we do have points to play with. I think we got 45 more points for the rest of the season to use on suspended players. So as you can see, your defensive tackle is at quarterback, and then Dickerson is out for two more games. We are 53rd in the country. Keep winning some more games. We may eventually get to the top 25. We'd have to probably win out. To get there, though. Ruston, Louisiana. Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. Clear skies. Not a big crowd. Beautiful weather here for 
for tonight's game between perfect the weather though and the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Just need to move my little season. thing over and if I can move it there we go is between two teams here in the WAC. And here come the Bulldogs. that's my little pen tool that I use the Warriors are pretty I like it a lot this one Kirk. it really doesn't appear to be much of a contest is so explosive because Ferguson, I may do some things with him. I need to get him involved a little bit more. What we probably need to do is move him over to where Dickerson was. Absolutely right. I'm picking the Warriors. Lee Corso looks really goofy with that thing on. We won the toss. Let's take it in the second half. I think what I can do is go to in-game strategy, and we're going to go to formation subs. Normally, I don't use these a whole lot. Uh, I usually prefer to do it via the depth chart. But I think a good idea is to put... Uh, let's just use the formation subs here. I want to make sure Dickerson, or uh, sorry, Ferguson gets to touch the ball quite a bit. So we're going to put him and our tight end right there, just so... Uh, where's he at? Sample. Okay, don't know where Sample went. I do want to put Ferguson right here. And I thought Sample would be somewhere, unless I completely missed him. That, oh, that's him right there. Because we're going to use our tight end sub package. I want to make sure Ferguson is right here. So I'm okay with that. And this is 65 overall. We need to put... Yeah, those are our best guys. So for trips... Um... I think we're okay leaving Dickerson where he's at there. Normally on this, no. I'll tell you what we need to do. Let's do the same thing. Let's just go here. We're going to put Mock. And we're going to put Ferguson right there. I would almost prefer having Sample on the far left. But we'll just see how that goes. But I think Ferguson will touch the ball more if he's right there out of that formation. Here, I don't... I don't use this formation a ton, so I don't mind leaving it the way it is. Here, I would prefer to have Ferguson in the slot. I'll put Ferguson here. I probably need to put my tight end in there somewhere, but for we pretty much just use it for third and long. We don't use this formation much. Here is where I would prefer... Uh, let me think. We probably need... To do the same thing. Let's just cross the board. We'll put Ferguson there and put, uh, yes, I like it, wherever thing else is at. Right there. I don't know what happens once I put my tight end in there. Will that move everybody up? I think it will. It's just weird when you, when you mix formation subs and depth chart stuff, it can get kind of wonky. Uh, let's go. Let's just do the same. I'll put Mock there. Ferguson. And yes, I'm okay with all of that. And then once Dickerson comes back, I may have to reset everything. And that may be all I'll need to do. So I think I'm okay with all of that. Right there. I do want to make sure our halfback is getting... Yes, just making sure we got our backup in for this formation. That should give our starting halfback a bit of a break. So I think I'm okay with all that. Now, let's go and check out Louisiana Tech's roster. Starting quarterback, he can't run, which is good. I'd rather him be out there than that dual threat guy. Uh, but he's not an impact player. Their starting halfback is out for a couple weeks, but his backup is just as good. Decent fullback. Don't know how much they'll use him. Impact wide receiver. So I'm guessing they're going to throw quite a bit today. And his backup, or his number two guy, is just as good. They got a decent little wide receiver core. Tight end, not going to do much damage today. I forgot, they got like arguably the best left guard in the country. 82, 78, 74. Other than that, their offensive line doesn't say a whole lot to me. They do run a 3-4. Now, this is the type of player I'm going to kind of look for. Like, look at this defensive end, 6'5", 279. Then you got the other defense at 6'5", 262. And I, for a while, I may have to resort to getting defensive ends of this size, even though I prefer to have them much bigger, because I'm practically getting defensive tackles. Now, you would think, hey, can you recruit defensive tackles and move them to defensive end? I've tried it in the past. I don't, it, you really can't. They don't transition well. Speed is like a big deal for that particular position. 
Otherwise, I would go get a bunch of undersized defensive ends and move them, or defensive tackles and move them to DN, but it just doesn't work that way in this game. They do have an impact defense tackle. This is the type of guy that I would want, 6'4", 325. I mean, just ideal. Would love to have a guy like that. Uh, running the A-gaps. All right. Linebackers, not bad. They do run a 3-4. Let me see here. Middle linebackers, impact guy. Corners, just your average whack players. Nothing to get too excited about. Average group of strong safety. Strong safety don't look too bad. Average kicker, average punter. Okay. I think they're going to throw quite a bit. We'll see how these two teams play in this game. So hopefully we can adjust accordingly. We should have a return on this one. I need to check to see if Hawaii has alternate uniforms. I forget to even check that. They're going with that set. Let's do quarters for now at a 3-4. They'll set up shot at the 27-yard line. The Bulldog come out in a shotgun. I don't know if I should be shifting. I probably need to be doing this instead. Let's try that. RPO. And he still caught it. <laughs> I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the Going four wide, we'll spread it out as well. Defense, the offense just executed, and the result is a first down. Louisiana Tech lines up in a shotgun set. I'm going to stay in just in case they decide to run it. I don't have as much field to cover. Ah. It was a bad throw, thankfully. Go five wide again. We'll stick with the same play. Just keep everything in front of us. We can spread out our defensive line as well. Intercept that. Good play right there. I don't know what the quarterback, he he must have got spooked. He threw it awfully quick. We'll see an instant replay here. Just got in front of it. Okay. Let's put in our tight end everywhere we need to put him at. Right here. Here and right here. All right, let's start off with a screen. We're going man, dime. What I can do. I don't think their crowd's big enough for this to matter. And dang it, I forgot to change my... Dang it. Let's just go ahead and snap it. I forgot to change my audible. I need to do this outside of the game. If you remember in the last game... I changed this audible to a just a a toss play out of ace trip ace four wide receiver trips. But if you don't do it outside of an actual game, then it won't it'll revert back to what you had. We got the first, so the QB choice worked. Uh, let's go. Let's go slot clear out. Man dime. Now here I can do the same thing if I wanted to, but. This is a really good man beater, so I'm going to leave it as is. Going one high. He's going right. it's deflected. I had to throw that kind of light. I was fixing to get killed. Somebody came through. Ran right tackle, got blasted. If I'd have thrown it too hard, I bet that impact guy probably would have got in front of it. Guys, that was a pass that just, hung up there. just a bad play. Offensive line didn't do a very good job there. So it's second and ten. We'll go slide. Uh, we'll just leave it as he is. He drops back. He passes it. Complete. Got an opening. Pick up the first down there. And they push him out. Right hash. Not only was it good we can go. But the offensive line protected. We can call slide again. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down. We're going dime. I could run it. But we should have our tight end be able to touch this one. They'll throw on first down. Big play. Oh, what a tough son of a gun. Just ran over people. So we're, oh, we're on the nine-yard line. Let's go with Triangle. They're bringing everybody. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do this. 
we are going to we're going to audible i wonder who didn't get to hear that somebody didn't get to hear it i need to start calling these on second down while i'm on the road and yeah, that's just bad play calling on my part i should have left it as is my bad my bad we're going to call the same play come on kirk that was a good looking play by the corner he did a good job very good chance this would go to samp or mock on the left hopefully he can handle this and the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch Almost got the touchdown. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, nice on the one, the I would prefer to get a touchdown, so let's try slam. I may just go for it on fourth down. I may need to do dive instead. I had to improvise here. I went to the right. My number two tight end, he blocked the guy, but he was still able to have a chance to make a play so I had to just scoop back up in front of him to get the touchdown good deal we start off with the touchdown let's get an extra point we'll get back on defense and he hits the PAT this drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. not too many issues on that drive we didn't even face a third down situation, so you know you're doing well when that happens. Not a very hard kick. That's, those things are so hard to time on Heisman. I know that's one of the main reasons people don't play on Heisman, because it's, it's hard. I get it. Kicking's not the easiest thing to do in this game. I'm not all that good at it. And I need to practice more of it. We're spreading everybody out, going five wide, it seems. Intercepted. Why well, was a wild looking throw? Did he get hit? I wonder if he got hit when he threw it. He may not have. I was just able to get right in front of it. I'm going to go back and see what the quarterback did. He get hit? No, he just threw it awful quick. I don't know what his deal was. He was going to somebody. Just made a bad throw. Okay, right hash, 30-yard line. We can go. Let's see. Let's go with go, a.k.a. cross. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position mm, here. It's first down. I'm, I'm going to wait. Normally, the st the, audi or the audience, the crowd calms down on second downs. We'll just leave this as is. And it falls incomplete. Good, that's a perfect call. Everybody and their brother blitzed on that one. Just didn't have enough time. Let's go and call the gun version of that. Going man dime. Ooh. Let's go. Let's do this. Terrible throw. Uh, bad throw. So it's third and we're on the 30. What I probably need to do is I'm going to do that. Make this two down territory for me. Let's see if we can't get a first down. If we can't get here, we'll go for it on fourth possibly. We'll just see what happens. Let's see. Yeah, nope. Oh, he caught it. And a fumble. And a f and he, oh, he picked it back up. <laughs> Goofy play. We'll look at this play again. They went cover two, and I was feeling the heat. Somebody came right on through right there. Thankful my right tackle hit him enough for me to get out of the way. But as soon as I saw our tight end make a break, I threw it as hard as I could. We're very fortunate this didn't get picked. Linebacker just didn't get there enough in time. Fumbles it, but yet he somehow gets it back. I don't know. <laughs> we'll take it, though. Uh, let's get under center. Let's do a toss play. On the 12 and they can smell the goal. I was hoping they'd go dime again. They've been running a lot of dime lately. Uh, let's go to the left. Here's the option left. Pitches back. Good block there. He can scoot. Touchdown, Hawaii. All right, good deal. Good to see the running game going a little bit. Yep, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. Good block by my slot receiver. Good deal. All right, that's a really good start. Let's keep it going. 
I need to run some Switch eventually. I just wish there was more non-play action versions of it. I do have one I haven't called in any of this season. I'll try not to forget them when we get on the next drive. There's one from Gun Spread. It's True Switch. It's honestly, it's about the closest uh, looking run and shoot play in the game. It's just everything's deep, and you really got to have a good line to make it work. And that's six points. Mm. Save the touchdown, but not what we wanted to see right there. Uh, let's do a zone blitz. They seem determined to throw it. Number 13 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Intercept that. And on the one yard line. Dang it. That's another interception. Problem is, their backup's going to go in here and he can run the ball. But we're on the one. What we need to do is. Um, Let's do something quick. Let's go back to slide. We're going man nickel. This is good. This is a good thing. Uh, nope, can't do that. We're going to leave it as he is. Pick up. Oh, man, I actually had a chance to do something more there. That's a good play, though. This play on the left right here, if I can find a slot wheels, that's about as true as a run and shoot play as you can find. I'll call that. It's a right hash play. Let's do the trips version. They're going man dime. The crowd isn't doing much of anything. It's what we can do. Let's audible to a run. We got the numbers. Go to the left. Pick up a first down there. Uh, left hash. Let's go empty. I haven't got to do anything from empty in a while. Half the time it's just me forgetting to call something from here. Uh, let's do wide receiver outs. Man. Have some opportunities here. Uh, this will go. Let's see what happens. The Warriors with four One high. Back to pass. Looks. I dropped it. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Just dropped it. Uh, let's see. Let's do wide receiver under. So it's second and We're going zone. I don't know how much we're going to get out of this play. What I need to do is move this guy over, so he doesn't get clogged up. Drops back to pass. Looking. I forgot it was a delayed route. He didn't stop. That was my fault. My fault 100% on that one. Well, his hands did their job, but his feet clocked out early. Third and ten. And this is the fifth. Third and long. I'd like to get this one. This is hopefully going to go to Ferguson. Nope, intercepted. He threw it way too low. He just, I guess I didn't throw it light enough, but that was going to be a tough get right there. Well, we didn't get to take advantage of that turnover. Just not a good drive whatsoever. Let's see if I can get him over. Oh, this is going to be a terrible kick. Awful. Oh, I hate kicking. I'm just not, I'm just not very good at it. So now they pretty much got the ball where they were going to get it at on their last drive. So now their backup is in there, so we can't do any blitzing because he can run with it. Bad throw though. I'm gonna do a zone blitz. I, I didn't. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this. We'll go with it anyways. The Bulldogs come out Let's do that. They go with a run. A little shake and bake move. Broke away from one. Oh, wow. What's the deal? All of these turnovers. Well, they avoided a turnover right there. I am playing 06, not 07. Let's do zone blitz. Ah, dang it. I forgot. <laughs> Their quarterback can run it. It's first and ten. Ball the they may call the exact same play here. Louisiana Tech goes with the ace set here. Intercept that. Batted ball. 
Pressure, force the bad throw. Let's do quarters from 3-4. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of... Let's pinch in, maybe? Allen drops back to pass. He steps up, looks... Short he still caught that. <laughs> I should have just put my hand up instead. Third and four to go on five wide. We're going to do that. We're going to do our spy with our defensive end. Intercept that. Intercept that. Oh, I shouldn't have dove. <laughs> There was a holding. How many interceptions are they going to throw today? Man. We're going to decline that. That's in the end zone. Middle of the field. Let's go. Let's go back to the screen. Let's see if Ferguson can touch it here. I have to go a man dime. The crowd ain't doing much of anything. I'd rather go to a better man beater. What a day for this guy. So let's just run the ball. Here's the option left. E -lateral. Here we go. Let's just get in. Just pick up some yards. Left hash. Let's go back here. Uh, if I can get to it. Let's go back to clear out. We're going man nickel. This will go to Mock or Ferguson. Depending on the safeties. He is looking to make something happen. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Uh-oh. He failed. He breaks free. And he's finally... Good to see Ferguson get a catch. Now, it's first down. I don't mind calling this play. Let's go back to spread. Let's go with sw slot wheels. This is true switch. We're going zone. Here's the problem with this play. There's only one good zone beater. The Warriors. receivers. Let's do a slant just in case. I did. Oh, it worked. Oh, wow. Awesome. So we'll break this play down. I decided to. They're going zone. My only good zone beater. Let me use the. This one right here. The only good zone beater I have. Is. I can get it to do its thing. Is this guy right here is kind of like. Uh. Was well, it sort of like a, this right here, and this guy is doing like a switch. You know, this is your switch combo. This is my only zone beater right here. And I don't know. Oh, and sorry about that. This is my only zone beater right here over the middle. So I have to come up with something else. I mean, this switch is this is like a dig switch. I don't know. You can call it. It's a various, a very, uh, a different kind of switch. But anyway. What I try to do here is I just hot ratted this guy to a slant to give me a center beater. He ended up being open like right here. So let me go right here. And you see this huge hole. This is just me improvising on the fly. I've never really done that before. But he was open right there. So I was able to give it to him. So that's a good little option right there. Pretty cool. That's how you learn things. You do them. So we are like on the right hash. Let's go. Let's stay here. Let's run the other switch concept I like to use. Corner strike. Man dime. This play works better against zone, believe it or not. Uh, let's try. The Warriors come out in a shotgun. The crowd is completely out of it, so let's just run it. We can do this. Give us a little extra space. On the ground with a tailback. Pick up the first. And he's taken down. And that was a nice run. Back on the right hash again. So that was a good first quarter. Louisiana Tech had 18 turnovers. That's what would keep you in it. Let's go trips. Let's, uh, no, I'm going to go back to go. Let's go slot same from spread. Going man again. Uh, it's first and 10. I don't mind doing this. Let's just go. What what happens if I move him up? Does that help anything? Not really. I threw that way too late. That's my fault. Thankfully, he didn't get hurt. What can we call? Let's do drag. I haven't called this one yet today. This is going to go to our shallow. This is where you get a little bit air raidish. Hawaii lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He's looking. Short to off. And it's caught. Almost got the first down. Pick up nine. 
third and one. We can just stay here and just do halfback out. Our choice, technically, out of trips. They are going man, but they're going 3 4. So who's on who? We're doing that. Very, very good chance this will go to mock. Good catch there. I had to throw this one off like my back foot. This was weird. The guy came right on through. I don't know what my offensive line on the left side was doing, but we was able to get out of the way. Ended up getting, being a good block in the end. We're on the eight-yard line. Uh, let's go. Let's go back to clear out. They're going man dime, but the crowd's going just a little bit, so we can leave it as is. We can go to Ferguson for a touchdown. I know they're going cover zero, and he drops it. Ah, come on. Just straight up drop it. Let's go slide from here. This has been a really good play for us in the red zone. We're going nickel, so I'm going to move some guys over. Let's do some motion. Touchdown. Good deal. So the run and shoot is starting to really get going, which is a good thing because our top quarterback is not playing. Our top offensive player isn't playing today. So when they get back, and here's the thing, I, I need to evaluate if Gronk needs to be our starter over Rolovich. I can't really make up my mind on that. Gronk has done a good job. What makes me want to maybe play Gronk is he's got better accuracy. That's something I'm going to have to think about. We'll do another normal kick, and this is going out of bounds. Another, I pressed the button way too early. My fault, my fault. Again, kicking on Heisman, it's tough in this game. Not my best effort today. Let's do a, uh, no, they got their back up in there. We're going back out of that. Let's just go back to quarters. They still seem determined to throw it. He's just making bad decisions out there. No wonder they're playing so bad this year. Just got bad quarterback play. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. Back to pass. Oh my gosh. Dang it. Ended up getting 30 yards out of it. I was right in front of it. Not only was it good decision. Just couldn't make the play. They need to keep doing what they're doing, though. I'll pick it off again. The Bulldogs. The quarterback hasn't decided to run the ball any yet. Wide open. Good little play. I had two guys to kind of cover. It's kind of hard to decide which one to go after. Just right over the middle sitting there. I went after the curl on the far left. First and ten. End up scoring here, then it'll be a two possession game. Lines up in a shotgun set. I gotta make interceptions on those. I mean, that's. You couldn't have a better situation right there. Just can't bring it down. I, once I get better outside linebackers, I'm sure that will improve. I'm gonna stay in. They're due for a run. Play action. And he drops it. That's tit for tap <laughs> from Ferguson from earlier. Third and ten. We're going to go cloud. We can do the same spy look. He got hit when he threw it, but the guy made the catch. So are they going to go with a field goal here? Looks like they're going to. Fine by me. They can have all the field goals they want. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up. Perfect. And, he got and they get on the scoreboard.
Let's get back on offense and see if we can get a touchdown. I think I may return this one. It's close enough to the left. We dropped it. Just don't fumble it. We can go. I'm on. Uh, let's go back to slide. It's first and ten. They're blitzing everybody and their brother here. And yep, he's coming down. Let's have Ferguson go over the top. That's intercepted. Yeah, he overthrew it big time. So the go routes aren't always perfect in this game. Sometimes you just it all depends on the quarterback making a good throw and they just overthrew it. I had to get it off quickly as well. That didn't help things. Yeah, just overthrew it big time. That gets him back in it. Get a touchdown here. They'll only be down 11. Let's do this. Wow. That's a nifty little play. Just threw it over the linebacker's head. Uh, I'm going to attempt a zone blitz. Don't know if he's going to run on us or not. Ball on the 42 yard line. The Bulldogs set up in the gun. Good stop there. That's that zone blocking. It just doesn't work all that well in this game. Now let's pick another zone blitz. This guy's going to go to the inside this time. The blitzer. Somebody go to the outside. The bulldog. Come out in a shotgun. He drops back, steps up, looks. Nope, all day to throw. Just a terrible throw. Don't know who that was going to. Now we're back to third and long. Third and eight. Ball on the 40. We'll do another zone blitz or another. They shift on the defensive line. Defensive spot. Wants to throw a screen. He's hit and got away. Just didn't get much out of that. Now, I wonder if they're going to go for this or not. Are they on the 41? They may not. No, they're going to punt. That's fine. We'll go with an all-out block. This has worked well for us for most of the time, but we had a bad incident a few, few games ago where it's got caught in a bind. Hopefully, he just knocks this thing in the end zone. They're going to run clock. I could probably do the same right before half. Maybe get a touchdown. Oh, my gosh. We're going to fair catch that one. Everybody get out of the way. Oh, wow. Well. Perfect. At the four. Kudos to them. Uh, I got to stay in the gun just to get away from any heavy blitz. They're going man here. Yep, they're going man. I'm going to have Washington. He's 19. Let's do this. Let's bring him over. Back to pass. He's looking. He rolls out to the left. He's going left. Complete. Get some yards out of that. One thing I haven't called yet. Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a Halfback streak. This is going to show off my two-minute skills. Hopefully I can convert. Going with the shotgun here. I feel no. Oh crap. Rolls right. Wants to throw. What a throw. What a throw. Ah. And the win went out of bounds. Right hash, let's go. Uh, let's go corner strike. They're blitzing everybody. Uh, I'm going to bring this guy over. I'm going to isolate Ferguson. Can he make a play? Nope. Under, under threw it. He just under threw it. That's all that was there. Hey, Those flag job, routes are very hard against man. Throw a flag. Throw a flag. We had 18 flags in the last game. They're going to call them today. The yeah, he just underthrew it. Mm. Hopefully they don't score before half here. I try to put a ton of English on that thing too. Give a little extra oomph and it didn't seem to help. He let his half back too far on that throw. This kid needs we'll stick with the same play. They line up with trips to the right. Looks like I don't have a whole lot to 
cover here. Uh, the going wide receiver drag. Good job, Al. Know that play all too well. We're going to go cloud. This time I may go after the guy myself. Nickel defense. Back to pass. Nope, he's going to go with it. And now he's going to improvise. Patton. Well, that was his first round. Let's call a timeout. Let's do double cross. We should be able to return this. That gives us two timeouts and a minute to go. As long as I don't throw interceptions, we may have a chance to get a touchdown before half. Something we've been trying to do for the last 30 minutes, it seems. We'll have to fair catch that one. He hauls it in at the 17. Uh, won the last battle as they that's a good idea. Let's go. Win this time. Let's go back to go. They're going man again. They've been calling man on this all day. He's doing that. I'm going to bring him over. Nope, that ain't going to help. That's just bad play all around. I'm going to let that clock roll. I don't think we're going to have a chance to get down the field now. We're going to leave it as he is. So let's... We can still throw the ball. Second, going man dime. On the -yard line. We're going to let this play as he is. We may get lucky and be able to get it downfield. Otherwise, we could just go to half. Hawaii. I think it's going to be too tough for us to get down the field. After that last play, it just didn't work. And I didn't want to burn another timeout and give them another chance. He drops back. Going one high. Looking. Wants to throw outside. And he pulls it down. And we are just going to hurry it up and we'll go to halftime. All right, so the second quarter was a nothing burger. Too many turnovers. I mean, I, how many turnovers for this? For a lot of it's interceptions. I don't worry about interceptions. If I see a ton of fumbles, that's when I start worrying about games. But a lot of times it's just come down to making good decisions. And we didn't do much of that in that first half. Ended up with a lot of yards, just couldn't get a whole lot of points. I mean, 21 seems like, you know, we're on the verge of getting 42. But a total of six turnovers in that first half. Two fumbles, none of them were lost, but the, like I said, most of that was all inter six interceptions in that first half. Just sloppy football. I really don't care about the individual stuff, so let's just go and get into the third quarter. Louisiana Tech will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Let's see if Ferguson can make some magic Ferguson happen. Nope. No blocking on the outside. And now we'll see the offense. Right hash. For their next uh, let's go back here. Let's do cross. First and ten. Zone dime. We're really spreading them out big time. What we can try to do is... One man backfield. The crowd ain't really feeling it. Nope. Good defense. Guy blitz off the edge. Not much there. Let's go back to cross. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 23. Uh, we can go ahead and call this play. Number nine with four wide receivers. He's looking and he's hit as he throws. It falls incomplete. Left tackle got bait. Right tackle got bait. I, I should have threw a little bit sooner. Just a bad play all around. And the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Go back to vertical. It's third, down and eight to third and longer going man. Uh, this could get interesting. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Looks. We'll go over the top. Can he make the play? Nice. He may get a touchdown. They went cover zero. That's so rare to see that on third and long. Normally they go to a zone like I would. But they came out and done a spy with their safeties, which is like a useless play. Finally got to get on the scoreboard after a full quarter. Get back on defense here shortly. And he hits the PAT. So with under five minutes left in the third quarter, our score, Hawaii 28. Louisiana. I was going to go to my post, but when you bring both safeties, you got no choice but to go over the top. Dang it, going out of bounds again. I just hit the button too early. 
My kicking's been ter terrible today. So bad. Normally I do a halfway decent job, but thankfully we're doing okay everywhere else. Just my bad, my bad. Let's go quarters. We'll do that 3-4. They'll throw on first down. Just bad play there. They just got bad quarterback play. When your quarterback ain't playing good, it's tough to win. Ball on the 35. The Bulldogs line up with four wideouts. They want speed option. Oh, wow. Big play there. Haven't seen that play in a while. We'll stay in quarters. Except to the ball. Lee, you're right. They look like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. Allen drops to throw. He's looking down the middle. Got it to the senior. Got a tackle so there. Kept everything in front of him on that play. They're going to spread it out like me. Stay in like that, 10 personnel. Have to creep up. When you force the safeties to play shallow, it opens up a whole other passing game. That's when you hit them with the home run. Short Thank draw. you. Finally got the interception. Been sitting in front of it all game. I was able to get one. That's interception number 30 on the day. We're on the right hash. I want to go. Let's go back to that old school Swiss. Let's go slot wheels. Man. What I can do with man. I didn't think about this, but we can try it. Let's do some old school motion in here. They'll throw on first down. Looking, out to the left side. Terrible throw. He just threw it badly. My right tackle got beat. I just, you know, here's what I'm starting to think. You know, we're seeing a, I have a feeling, and I think a lot of times it's me backing up. So you may see me backing up a quarterback. I don't technically have to back up playing in the shotgun. I think that's, I'm contributing to them goofing up like that. Look at my right tackle getting blasted. It's like instantly 07 and through 11 all over again with jump and snap. I'm starting to, you know, if I can work on that a little bit better and I still see that, then I may, I don't mind playing some ECW 7 because that was my biggest problem with that besides the momentum meter. That's a big worry of mine because uh, it leads to a ton of turnovers. But how many turnovers we had today? I really feel like I'm playing 07 right now, yet I'm not overly upset. I guess that's the point I'm making. It's not for me to look at down the road. Second and 10. Let's go. Let's do triangle. So it's second and ten. We're going dive. I'm gonna leave it as is. We got a couple of decent zone beaters. Number nine. Has four nope. We're gonna have to go to my tight end. Just a bad throw. And it falls incomplete. Number four. Third and long. Third down and ten. And they're bringing everybody. That's so interesting. Uh, let's. The defense lines up with six DB. Drop back to pass. Nope, dang it. I was stupid on my part. I shouldn't have done what I done right there. Somebody blasted somebody on the right side. Oh no, they just blitzed on the right side. Nobody picked them up. I don't know what my tackle's doing here, but he didn't pick up that guy for whatever reason. Then you see like a big see that work man, I don't I haven't seen so much of this. I don't get it. I'm seeing so much of it lately. Again, maybe it's me backing up, but you gotta back up. You got your three, your five, and seven step drops. I don't know. Something for me to work on. But I'm not, hey, after five, six seasons of this dynasty or however long I feel like going, if I continue to see that even when we got really good talent, then hey, like I said, I don't mind maybe playing, going back to 07, giving that a go. I do know the playbooks are incredible in it. At least they're different. If I could just get over the momentum meter, that's the, my biggest bugaboo with it. I don't like it. Compared to, you know, the jump the snap. Both of them I don't like, but momentum meter worries me more than the rest of them. Oh. That was an easy run. Let's do a zone blitz from 4-3. The Bulldogs come out the shotgun. Allen on first down. Intercept that. Good defense all around there. The 
defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Going with five wide. I'm getting a hand on the football. Allen has five receivers lined up here. See if we can get an interception right here. He drops back. He steps up, looking. He rifles. Nope, that's going out of bounds. And they couldn't hook Try to pick it off. So now it's third and long for them. We'll go cloud. Third and ten. Ball on the forty yard line. I'm gonna go after this cat. Can't get to him. He's got all day to throw. Wow. Just a good play. We'll go back to quarters of the three four. I hope they don't run it. Let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. Drops back to pass. Looks. Swings it out. Went with a screen, and he is going to get some yards out of that. About six yards on that completion. Uh, I'm going to take another chance with the zone blitz. Louisiana Tech. Hasn't been very successful this season with their red zone attempts. No, not at all. When they get inside the 20, they always... Let's see, see if we can get him off the B-gap. Coming through. But put up on the up. Good play. Good pressure. The blitz was very effective no day. sacks today, though. Third and four. We'll go cloud. We'll do our QB spot, and our best guy's not out there. The Bulldogs with four receivers. Play action. Somebody make a play. Four on one. We'll take that. So they'll probably kick a field goal, maybe? Yeah. Even though they need to go for a touchdown. But. Right down the middle. Hopefully we can play better on offense. It's been a struggle the last quarter or so. Right down the middle. Uh, let's go ahead and return it and see what happens. Nothing. Just nothing's ever opened up the middle in this game. Uh, right hash. Let's do a run play. It's a good call. They're going man dime. The Warriors come out in the ace formation. Warriors. Good block there. Get off me, son. Robertson brings him down. What a play. Just a simple option. Left hash. Gives it up and they get we can try. Great play. Boy, I tell you. Let's do switch. We'll do the play action version. When they're clicking. It's first and ten. Zone nickel. This will go to either my tight end or to Washington. Hawaii lines up in a shotgun set. Setting up the play action. Woo! Man, are threading the needle. Oh my gosh, what a throw. We'll break this play down. I just well, I just really wanted to see the window he had to throw into. So he's pretty much throwing at this angle right here. Look how tight this is. Oh man. Just enough. Golly. Great play. We're back on the left hash. Well, let's go back under center. I wish there were some good left hash plays from ace spread, but there really is unless I flip it. Uh, let's go ace empty. Let's go with cross seams. This is essentially go. We're going man. This can go to... This is going to be interesting who it's going to go to. Let's go to our mock. On a little crossing route. First and ten. Making, but the offensive line we got some room to work with here, so let's go with halfback streak. Two, it's not going to matter. They're going man. Don't know who this will go to. It may just go to our tight end or to our running back. Yeah, he's wide open. Big play. Big play by the tight end. Good to see him get some yards out of that. He's been successful picking at this defense all day We'll stay long. here and let's go to clear out. Secondary. 
And since we're in the red zone, going zone, this will either go to Washington or to our backup halfback. Where we use? My left tackle got blasted again. Dang it. That's good defense. I threw it off my back foot as well. That didn't help. See that worry? I don't get it. I, I, I'm not backing up 100 yards. I'm doing my normal step drop. You know, I'm doing like a seven step drop with this. And he just gets blasted again. And he's not a terrible linebacker or left tackle either. Kudos to the corner making a play right there. Ah. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A and I'm only looking at the ones where it affects me personally. I'm not seeing other plays where sometimes you know, where we do get the playoff and it goes well get the ball if one of my linemen are getting blasted. The Bulldog set up in the gun. Bad throw. Bad quarterback play by everybody today. <laughs> Just not a good showing from that position. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on their own nine. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Good little play right there. Only got a few yards, but he, him under-throwing it was able for him to get the catch. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Bulldogs with four receivers. All day to throw. Good D. Good defense. He tried to force that one in. It should have been intercepted. Let's see if we can return this. We should have good field position. The fourth quarter hasn't even happened yet, and the video is about an hour in. Like I said before, this is what happens when you're running past happy offenses, especially between both teams. Terrible kick. Both kickers, special teams have been awful. <laughs> okay, back on the right hash. Uh, let's go back to cross. We're going dime. I could just run it. This is a better man beater play. Hawaii. So let's just do that. We'll go to the left just because of that. Nope. All kinds of bad. They blitz off the left side. It's just perfect defense. Blitz off the left side, forced me in, and their best defensive tackle. Made a big play. Let's go curl Reed. Second and eleven coming up. This may not get a ton of yards, but I want to get my tight end involved here. For whatever reason, my tight end isn't out there. We got our backup tight end in there. Don't know why that is. Just didn't get much there. End of the quarter. Fourth quarter, finally. Third and seven on the 48. Uh, yeah, let's just do our normal thing here. Third down and seven to Zone go. dime. Right Should go to Ferguson. Hopefully everybody They'll blocks. Drops back to pass. Nope, intercepted. Threw it way too low. That's my fault. I think I pressed the button way too hard. Way too low. Should have been over that guy's head and it wasn't even close. Great range as he's able Just not a very good showing offensively today. We'll punt it. I'm going to punt this as hard as I can. He won't return it. Hawaii lining up the punt. I try to I could try to put it in the corner, but oh he's gonna return this thing. Number 86 takes it at the 12. It's fine by me. And now a slight break in the back to defense we go. I almost say this about the whole jump the snap thing, or at least it looks like it is. NCAA 06 was the last NCAA football game to not have auto pass. Auto pass is a function where you turn it off. That means you can literally just hit the snap button and the quarterback will he'll do his three, five, seven step drop, whatever, perfectly, and he'll never throw the ball. With that in place, that means you can always have that perfect drop and that'll probably cause your tackles to play a little bit better. But that's not in this game. So you have to manually drop back. I mean, you can still leave it alone. It'll drop back for you. But you better be quick on the draw. Otherwise, the quarterback or the CPU will throw the ball 
for you and that's the last thing you want and the reason why i brought this screen up right here is because that's where that option would be but it's just not here so i always just got into the habit of manually dropping back 07 i think it has it i could be dead wrong it may be like 08 or something that was a good hit four yard gain by the back Let's do quarters out of three, four, or four, three. Six coming up here. Ball on the 19. Single set backfield. He drops back. Ooh. I, the, I did not put my hand up on that one. The CPU done that for me. We'll go back to Cloud. We'll do our QB spy. Let's do this instead. I'm going to go right over the center. Don't know what that quarterback was doing there. We're going to get the ball back. Maybe we can score points. I don't know. It feels like forever since we scored a touchdown. This game would be an absolute blowout if we had played just halfway decent today. Thankfully, and... Wow, here we go. I don't just, what <laughs> nine turnovers. That's my that's I think that's my new record for 06. My current record for 07 is nine. I've done that like six games into playing that about a year or so ago. Nine turnovers today. Jeez. I, I think that happens a lot more when you when you got two bad teams playing each other. But still. God, wait, nine. Wide open. Oh, uh, that should have been picked off. I've thrown three interceptions today. And they've thrown about eight. At least it feels like it. That ain't good. Ah, oh, good defense. Third and long. We'll go cloud. I think I'm going to go after him. This. Mm, no, let's leave it as he is. My best player is not out there on def or my best defensive end. Somebody came through. Does it? Oh, they're going to go for it. They're going cloud. I will go cloud. I'm going to go after him myself this time. I don't think he's going to run and be able to do anything with that. I don't think he can get 18 yards on him by himself. Oh, he picked me up. That's a catch. Well, this is a game. We're going to go for two. Uh, I think I know what they're going to call. Well, no, they're going with five wide, so anything's possible here, I guess. Allen is back in the gun. He drops back. Wants to throw. Wow, he still caught that. Two score game. I don't know what to do offensively. We can't get anything going. I don't I mean just nothing's working. We keep throwing interceptions. It's a fumble. Just dive, get down. I don't know what to call. We're just not playing well. The right nickel is blitzing. So we're going to go to somebody on the left. That's for sure. Going one high. Almost got sacked. Got it off just in time. Second and one. Let's keep it short. Let's do go. Let's go slide from spread. We're going zone dime. I think I may run the ball. And it's second and one, so the crowd, the crowd ain't doing much. Number nine with four wide receivers. Let's see if we can get a, another. Wow. Perfect defense. Just couldn't get anywhere, of course. Third and one. We're going to stay here. We're going to go back to the same play. We're going with man dime, but I'm going to leave it as is. What worries me is. Let's do this. I got an idea. Number nine is back in the gun. We're going to run the ball. Let's run some clock. Hopefully we can get a first down here. Had to back out on that one. Let's just get down. Stay in bounds. 
and they convert on third down with the old option play. Good play there. I still want to throw a little bit. Let's go wide receiver outs. It's first going ten. zone. Ball the 29. This will go to our tight end right here. Four wide receivers. Just underneath. He is R1. They'll throw on first down. Throws off his back foot. And it's caught. They blitzed everybody on that play. Very fortunate we got the ball off. Only got one yard. Let's go clear out. They're probably going to call time after this play. They're going man dime. I like this play against man, so I'm going to leave it as is. Plus, their front five is a whole lot better than our front five. They got two impact guys, and our offensive line just isn't the best in the world. So hopefully we can make a good play right here. Back to pass. Look. Wants to throw outside. Just, Ferguson what do you do? He dropped it. Now, Coach, 28. Um, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. it I am going to, I'm not worried about trying to get a first down. Let's just do something simple. They're going zone nickel. The Warriors line up with four wide out. Drops back to pass. Looking. Happened again. And a terrible throw. Dang it. Wasn't expecting him to do that. So my right tackle or no, my left tackle got destroyed again. I mean, if, I, I, how many games have you seen me play over the years? You don't see this happen all that much. Now it's just all of a sudden. And it's uh, maybe it's me backing up too far, I guess. But it's just my fault. Uh, on the 28. I, I don't think I'm good enough to kick that field goal. So I'm going to go for it. I'd love to go kick a field goal and end it. But I'll try to go for it here. I just don't trust my kicking. We've all witnessed it today how bad my kicking has been. They need this pass. He's looking. Great play. Game over. Big play right there. So they got two timeouts, so I can't just take a knee. So we can run the ball some. Well, let's get in our best player. Uh, let's do... Let's do weak off tackle. They're going man nickel and they're blitzing. Jeez, this ain't going to work. And they're shifting. That's why you don't see me call this play. There's nothing you can do. Except something like this. Go to an audible. Take too much time, which I'm okay with. Oh, yeah, they call their timeout. So that, I did waste my time on that one, didn't I? So, like, I would love to go back to this play. Just watch them shift. If they shift, it's going to be a bad play. I mean, I don't... What do you do? I mean, I'm going to call it. But that's what's going to happen right there. Just nothing. That's why I don't call that play. Uh, let's do another run. We'll go to our left. I think we got a chance here to do something. The Warriors come out in the ace formation. They go with the option. Pitches back. Just stay in bounds. On the five. They may end up. Hmm, let me think here. And the clock is running. Let's just go slam. We'll probably go to our left. Blocking this D tackle when he and if we don't get zone, this, I may just go for it. I don't think it doesn't matter at this point. We've got the game won, but. Big hole. Touchdown. Finally scored a touchdown. Jeez. feel like it's been an hour since we've scored. Send them packing. This guy is having a great day running the football. Oh, man. We've had a lot of games this year where we've seen our tackles just get abused to no end. Of course, we had our terrible backup left tackle get abused the first few games he was in there. And we've had two games this year where turnovers have been just absolutely unworldly, and it's just so rare in this game. I know there's in games in real life where you're going to have a ton of turnovers. I get that. But 
it usually stays kind of normal in this game where it's not too outlandish, but today is the exception to say the least, and they got a lot of room here. That's a good stop. And we got an injured player. And we got a player hurt. That's good. Let's hope it's not serious, but his arm's got to be hurting after a shot like that. So let's survive these next 44 seconds and get out of here as quick as we can. On their own 34, Louisiana Tech lines up in a shotgun set. Play action. That's intercept. That's interference. They're not going to call it. <laughs> I completely interfered with that play. We'll do a zone blitz. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back, steps up, looks over the middle. Intercepted another. <laughs> Another misfired pass and another turnover. Wow, that's like number 11 on the day? 10? It's, it's up there. Real smart throw. Yeah, coach, they still got one timeout. I don't think they're going to call it. If they do, it ain't going to make a difference. They'll start this drive at the 40. First and 10. Our halfback ended up getting player of the game. And, take a knee. and he takes a knee. He's coming back. That's good. This big fella at defensive tackles in the zone right now. Wow, 10 turnovers. I remember my Indiana, I played an old Indiana dynasty. This is before I started, I think, my channel. I had like seven turnovers in one half at one point. It was just, oh, it was awful. And we was a run-heavy team, but we just had so many fumbles. And it was just one of those nightmarish type situations. But the day's been all interceptions. Let's check out some stats here, see how bad this looks. Okay, uh, yards-wise, it looks pretty good for us, you know. Rushing, we actually, I'm more than happy getting 78 yards in a game with our type of offense. 22 of 39. We're a few drops away from being going 50% today. Biggest thing is 10 turnovers today. Three fumbles, nine interceptions. One of them was an actual fumble, but three of them were technically fumbled. It's nine. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen that before. That's a record. I, don't, I mean, I've been playing this game for 15 years. I don't think I've ever seen that many interceptions in one game between two teams. Just some awful, awful football. Ugly. All right. Uh, let's check out three interceptions for Gronk. Uh, a running back done great. Had a lot of guys get to touch the ball today through the air. Washington ended up getting the most yards. I think a lot of that had to do off that one. He's a true freshman, too. Uh, a lot of it had to do off that one big deep bomb, 60-something yards or whatever much it was. Mock getting, got a ton of receptions, and he plays our Z receiver, if I'm not mistaken. Tight end was able to get a few catches as well. Defensively, nobody really stood out except for Kernan. Middle linebacker had an interception, but only three tackles, but nobody had it. Everybody distributed the wealth today on tackles. Oh my gosh, awful game. Let's get out of here. I don't even know what we got next. It's, it's somebody not all that great. I, it's a home game. I think it's New Mexico State. Air Raid team. Hell money. So like I said, next up we got New Mexico State. Two of the best passing attacks in the country. Should be a lot of passing yards all over the place. Hopefully not that many interceptions. But this would be a good game to have a couple of those prospects come in to want to visit. Hopefully. We'll see if that happens. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.